Hi Virgo, welcome to your new love, possibly true love, um, reading for January 2019. Happy New Year, <laughs> if you're celebrating. All right, everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. All right, something in my eye. All right, Knight of Swords. This has an independent quality to it, like a kind of a solitary. So it could be that you and this person are both sort of independent people. It could be that the initial attraction is um, intellect and you, you connect with them mentally or cerebrally. <clears throat> it could be that this is just something that happens kind of quick and all of a sudden without and it's almost like oh now now what like it, <laughs> it just happened and holy cow what now you know out of the blue maybe okay so we have six of coins strength the star the moon justice Ooh -wee. And the king of cups all right well okay so this could be aquarius leo Pisces or Cancer right here, or Libra. So this is kind of fated. This is kind of a big deal, Virgo. Uh, this is kind of set in stone in the sense that we got the major arcana here, so that gives a lot of weight to it, but it also gives a sense of it being karmic or um, sort of predestined, or at least for me, the way I interpret these and the way I view it is that it could be, um, this is kind of etched in stone. It's kind of, this was meant to happen. This is pivotal. This is transformational for you. So, wow. Um, all right. So your future love interest, they could, the work they could be involved in is, um, they could be self-employed, could be a, a manager, could be, um, in the entertainment industry. They could be <laughs> a lot of things, loan officer, philanthropist, um, banker, something involving money and being just or fair with it. It could be like an accountant, um, this could be somebody who is like a just someone that moves money around and is very honest and earnest and fair cpa financial planner could be that okay this could also on the the emotional side it's about you getting your due <laughs> this is about you finally getting um the relationship that you deserve and it's probably going to take you by surprise um <clears throat> they might be proud this could be leo their issues or vices to watch out for just be aware of is that they might not like to be wrong now in the good sense that's somebody that is very careful to make sure that um they they choose their words wisely and they they're very thorough and methodical and they might move slowly because they don't like being wrong not because of pride but because they they would feel horrible if they ever hurt somebody's feelings or you know that sort of thing or this could actually be somebody that um, kind of is stubborn and proud. It could also be too that somebody could be really balanced. Um, they, they're just in a really good place and they're, they're really balanced because they've got their primitive instinctual side as well as their humanitarian and logical side, if you will, in check. So this would also suggest female and masculine balanced or the male and the masculine, you know what I'm trying to say, female, male, masculine, feminine balance. There's a good balance there. All right. Um, as far as it being something to watch out for, it could be they are stubborn and they are proud and they do like a lot of public recognition and glory and praise. So they might be sort of, you might have to give them a lot of strokes or a lot of praise. They might just have a thing for that. Um, that might be their love language as far as how they feel love. Why is this so wonky? All right, we're going to do this here. That might be something that they need. They need that recognition and praise on a continuous basis. Nothing wrong with that. Your, um, hmm. the thing is, it's going to be a very balanced, emotionally reciprocal relationship, which is awesome. And they will be very fair and very kind. This is nice because these are both in agreement right here. This is about things being fair, the scales being balanced, doing the right thing doing the right thing doing the right thing so this is all this also would suggest karma that you know you're, you're finally get like i said up here you're finally getting your due 
um, this could be an Aquarius. So you might be in a really good place and you're just kind of going along, healing, doing your thing, getting over something. Um, you know, you could be going on a retreat, or resting somewhere. It could be you're just in a really good place. And this is something maybe that you've wanted for quite some time. However, it probably might come at you out of the blue. Just saying. And they're, like I said, they're, what they're involved in could be charity work. They could be an actor. They could be, but they, they could be somebody that deals with things financially and moves money around, appropriates CPA, that sort of thing. They might have been single for a long time too. Um, their strength and what their contribution and gift to the relationship is doing the right thing, being very, having scruples, doing things the way they should be, being a rule follower. Some people might find that, oh my God, they're so boring. They're such a rule follower. Some people find safety and security in that. Um, it's going to be a very fair, reciprocal, balanced relationship. Kindness. Awesome. All right. So. Okay. This would suggest that your knee-jerk reaction is to bail when things get rough or weird because you probably have never had somebody that is kind and fair and balanced. Right? We can all relate to that. So you're, what you're going to have to keep in check for yourself is um, that you're your knee-jerk reaction to want to just up and bail the minute things get confusing or the minute you get scared and are unsure of the future. This is huge for you because this is a pattern. <laughs> this is something you got to watch out for and keep keep yourself in check. Um, this is not somebody that you need to run from, okay? Just so you know, this is somebody that you can count on, uh, that will be fair, that will have your best interest at heart across the board. This is pretty cool, Virgo. All right. Let's see what these cards have to say. Take or leave. And sometimes it can be kind of like mundane, but we'll try it. Virgo. Virgo need to know. Hmm. Reconnect with your inner spirit. Walk, practice yoga, meditate, listen to music. This could be, honestly, like you could meet this person in yoga class. I know it's getting really specific, but we got the star here, which is all about rejuvenation, healing, things working out over the long term. Um, then this would suggest for this new love that you're going to meet them when you're in a really good place after there's been some healing or while you're healing, you're just going to be in a really good place. They're going to be in a really good place. You might be meeting at a place where you go to resource yourself, church, yoga, exercise, um, especially if that's become a habit. This is something, this to me feels like something that you've made into a habit, some kind of something that you're doing for yourself that you're looking to do for yourself that is possibly starting to trip, become part of your routine okay so i don't know how that mixes here we got yoga and we got somebody involved you know either acting or philanthropy money management it happens out of the blue we got retreat healing leap of faith being restored and, and renewed so <laughs> lots of stuff to consider here I'm not going to do these just because I don't feel like this is, this would be appropriate. I'm going to do these right here. This is more, this is like really happy. It's not like, oh, you're going to meet somebody that's this way and it's going to cause a lot of conflict and you're going to be, no, it's not, that's not that reading. This is a nice reading. This is a positive reading. This, this turned out really good. I mean, who wouldn't want this? Honestly, this fair, compassionate, balanced love, balance, 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 kindness, compassion. You might get a little scared and want to take off, but they're like, nope, wait a minute. Hold on. I got big shoulders. Talk to me. Awesome. There we go. Ooh. somebody might be a teacher somebody might be working with kids somebody might be a single parent you are good at helping counseling and healing children use your skills to help children now okay if this isn't talking about a profession which i mean that's by and large most people right we all deal with kids we either have kids or we got kids in school um this could be too part of a um you doing inner child work, which would be about taking a leap of faith, healing, balancing the scales, needing or recognizing your threshold, what you need and meeting somebody that can match that. But then you do and you get scared. <laughs> this could be the subconscious making it self-conscious and you're doing a lot of healing work on yourself. So if you're going that route, you're meditating and you're, you're doing this healing work, keep going. It's a good thing. And chances are, you know, you focusing on yourself, it might be happening out of the blue. It might surprise you because this is 
this is a long-term goal of yours to probably be very clear about your issues and just kind of get clear on things you're in a good place you want to stay there you're doing the work and then it happens all right let's try these right here i like these these are the answer is simple oracle cards there we go. Oops, you can't see me shuffling. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Hello. Reclaim. Reclaim your art. This is okay. Yeah. This is all about you getting back to yourself and making you a priority. And then the meta message and all that is when you start to focus on yourself and you start to be the partner that you're looking for, it happens, right? We've all heard that. If you haven't, there you go. There is a lot of truth in that, honestly. <laughs> um, I'm going to do one more. Oh, okay. So let's, let's be bold here and go for timing. Okay. I have my own timing system. Um, I am not wishy-washy about it or waffling. I know what's what. So if you have a different timing system, that's fine. You can interpret your way or just go with mine. Um, if you do both, it's always more options, right? <laughs> okay. All right. So when, when for Virgo, for this new love, possibly true love for Virgo, when? Ooh. All right. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So, um, this would suggest that it is out of the blue. It's unexpected. All right. And um, <laughs> it could be any day now. Could be Scorpio season. All right. So we're looking at um, late October to late November. Uh, again, with the out of the blue, and it's going to completely take you by surprise because you might be doing a lot of work on yourself or just kind of going about your business. And it does happen. And I keep feeling like you're going to meet them in a a place of solitude or like where you would go to just take care of yourself yoga exercise church you know some kind of secret place that makes your hiking something that you're doing for yourself um, and we got the knight of wands here again you know lending to the whole this could be it happening suddenly while you're with a group of friends however we've got all right so we got wands that would suggest summer because for me wands are summer ninth week of summer the num number nine is significant this could be so we're in summer we either got the ninth week so we're looking at you know around august ish um this could be the ninth day of summer all right not the ninth month obviously i mean it could be september if we're looking at just ninth we're looking at month but uh summer ninth week of summer or ninth day of summer so like july first ish second ish maybe fourth of july maybe we're out celebrating we got fire all right Okay, lots of options for you, Virgo. This is general, but there is a current um, or a, a running current or theme throughout this that kind of narrows it down a little bit. So I hope this was fun and helpful for you and gives you a, a positive outlook for your future love adventure with this. Seems like a really great person, <laughs> honestly. This person seems like he's your fit. She's your fit. Um, I wish you luck with this. Take care. <laughs>